What's up everyone, Chlorine King here. I am here to show you how to replace this old, outdated Paragon uh, timer mechanism that really isn't manufactured anymore with a brand new one. Uh, I had to source this one on eBay for the client and just so you guys can see, this model, let me get in uh, frame, is the 4004-20B. It is a 240 mechanism. Uh, we just installed a, client, a salt system on this client's pool. The problem is this timer isn't working properly, so we've been running, having to run the pump 24-7 in order to make sure that the system always has flow through it for the salt system. So we had to find a new timer versus replacing the entire box because retrofitting an intermatic timer in here would be very difficult, if not impossible. And finding a mechanism here is much cheaper than replacing the entire sub panel uh, for the client so fortunately we're able to find one of these and uh, just want to show you the two you know a couple differences here um, an intermatic timer you got um, line load line load but actually for the uh, paragon you got line here and line here with your two loads in the center so we're going to uh, take that the, wire, unwire this stuff real quick and then show you how the new one pops in because it is different from an intermatic timer so let's go ahead and get started so obviously before you even start, you need to make sure the breakers are turned off, which these are, and then just do a voltage test here. So we got no voltage here in this timer mechanism. So we are 100% good to go to go ahead and start unscrewing, unwiring this and getting this out of the box. Now again, if you're not a licensed professional that's able to do this, you need to have a licensed professional do this. Um, so that way you are protected if something goes wrong and you don't possibly injure yourself or worse. Neutral is here. It's something we're, we don't need in this particular application. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it from the neutral bar because everything here is a 240 power device that's being controlled by this timer. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this entirely from the sub panel. And just get rid of that wire. Then your ground is right here. So now we got it completely unwired. All right, so now we go ahead and dis, we're gonna go ahead and remove this from the uh, box. So how we do that, we just, there's a tab here. We push towards the side of the box and it just clicks out just like that. So we got the old timer mechanism removed. Now we're gonna go ahead and plop in the new one. All right, so I got the new one here and it's just doing the same in reverse. So we're gonna go ahead and put these, these two notches right here into the designated spots and then pull this tab out here to where I can click that in. So now it's securely put in the box and now we're gonna go ahead and rewire this and get this thing back up and running. Hey guys, sorry about that. I had to take a quick breather because the phone overheated because it's only 10,000 degrees outside. So. At any rate, I just wanna show you again, uh, this is line, line, load, load. If you look back here on the old one, you see the motor wires coming down here to the, the uh, one and four position, whereas intermatic comes to one and three. So that's why this one's slightly different. And then we're also going to hook in the pool pump on the line because we're dealing with the variable speed and uh, salt system. So we want to make sure that the variable speed has its own power. Or basically has power 24 seven, excuse me. And we 
also want to make sure that the insulation doesn't get pulled underneath the screw because then it won't be a reliable connection. I'm gonna tighten it down nice and firm. So we got one leg of the pump and the breaker line coming in. Now we're gonna do the same over here on four. All right, so now on this configuration, we got the pump running 24, or at least we have power to the pump 24 seven because it's right where the breakers come in at. Let's go ahead and hook in the ground. I'm trying to make sure I'm not in your guys' way. I'm gonna snug that down nice and firm. Now all that's left is put the salt system on the load because we want that to be controlled by the timer while the pump has power 24-7. Again, don't over tighten it to where it uh, breaks the wire, but don't be afraid to be a little firm on it. Sorry about that little vibration, just knock the stand. Do the same thing here. So we're gonna go ahead and button this up and uh, show you how it works when it's all said and done. Just go over the screws once more, make sure everything's nice and solidly attached so nothing comes loose. And there you go, so we're gonna button this up, we'll power it up and show you how it all works in the end. All right, fellas, we got the uh, safety screen put on, so now we're gonna power this up and make sure everything's working properly. So with the timer off, we should be getting pump at the power right now. Which we are, so that's a good thing. And right now the salt system is off. And then when we go to flick the timer on, now we should have power at the salt cell, perfect. So now how you set this thing, you don't pull out like you do on the intermatic, you literally just turn this. This is the current time of day. Right now it's 11 a.m. and it's still a thousand degrees outside. So you basically just keep turning this until we get 11 in the morning, right here on the needle. So there we go. That is how you replace this Paragon timer. Hopefully this helped. Uh, this is an oddball. It's not really manufactured anymore. No distribution centers had it around me. So I had to find it online. Uh, like and subscribe, stay tuned for more videos and have a great day. See you next video.